Hello everyone in YouTube land. This here is 2015 presidential hopeful, Bradley Allen Henry, once again. I'm walking down the main street right now, Cobble Skill, New York. It's where I live. And as you can guess, it's winter, so there's snow on the ground, see? Lots of snow, but that's life up here. But, that's not the reason I'm making the video today. Making the video today because, as I was leaving my house to go have something to eat with a friend of mine, I received a phone call. The person on the other end of that, well, let's just say he was a director of a certain government agency. In that phone call, he basically threatened my life. He told me if I did not stop my campaign, that he would be forced to send people to end my campaign for me, meaning to end my life. Now, you're probably wondering, why am I telling you all this? Well, it's a simple fact of the matter. If something was to happen to me, I want it on record. I want people to know about it. And I want people to know exactly who is responsible for it, the government. All of this because... I am a veteran, a true blue, constitution believing American as well. Now I'm sorry that the light just changed here, but let's see if this helps any. <laughs> sorry about that guy, but I'm going up the stairs to my apartment. Sometimes it's a little dark in the hallway. <laughs> there we go, that's better, right, guys. Anyway, you can see me better now, right? So, I figured y'all would need to know this about what our government is doing and how they're trying to bully one of their citizens. So, think about this next time you're in the vo voting booth. And please know that if anyone decides to vote for me, I have to be written in. I am not a member of any party. And I will rephrase that. Any party. I am just a man. A 40-year-old man who believes completely and utterly in the constitution of our country. And that it should be, that the country should be ran the way our forefathers intended it when they set down the Constitution of the United States, including with all the amendments that have been made since then. Basically, Americans should have all their rights, inalienable and constitutional. But, under Obama, for the first time ever, there was a 100-mile constitution-free zone around our country. It's 100 miles from our border inward, all around our country. And they call it a constitution-free zone. If you want to find out about this, or if you think that maybe I'm making this up, all you have to do is go on to your favorite internet browser, type in Constitution Free Zone, and a map will show up. There, in fact, there will be several links to maps and other things related to this that will show up, all from the government. government. That's not right. It's not close to being right.
The problem with the illegals that we're having, well, that's the simple thing to cure it in my book, I'm the simple way of curing it. And that's called, well, no amnesty for illegals. Even if they have anchor babies here. You know, babies that are born here so that they maybe can stay here. I don't care. If you came here illegally and you had a child here, well, that child is a citizen. Yes. You are not. That child can go into foster care or be adopted by American citizens. You can be deported. End of discussion. This amnesty for the illegals that Obama has used executive order to make and the fact that he has threatened Congress that if they try to overturn it, he will veto anything and everything that comes across his desk. Well, if I think about that for a minute, that's kind of bullying, isn't it? But it's not just bullying, it's, well, it's kind of a terrorism, terrorist act, ain't it? And we're supposed to be at war with terrorism. So I guess that means we have to be at war with our president. I don't like saying that. But I call a spade a spade. I say things how they are, as I see them. So, but once again, Brother Alan Hinchley, 2016 Presidential Hopeful. Wishing all of you have a good day. And may God continue to bless the United States of America. Thank you.